A civil trial against the estranged husband of missing New Canaan woman Jennifer Dulos is underway. Jennifer's mother, Gloria Farber, suing Fotis Dulos for millions that she says he owes her Jennifer's father's estate. Fox 61's Aisha Bo has been in the courtroom all day and joins us live this afternoon with what happened. Aisha. Jen, good evening to you. Right now, breaking as we speak, as you can see, they are actually outside of the courtroom uh, speaking with reporters for the first time. I'm going to try to move our live shot towards that way so we can try and hear what they are saying at this point. But um, as we know, Jennifer Dulos has been missing now for six months, and this trial is completely separate from the criminal case that is happening right now. Uh, this having to do with his estranged mother-in-law, Gloria Farber, suing him for more than $2 million. Again, today, uh, we were in that courtroom because of the civil trial, uh, but his attorney, Norm Pattis, is speaking as we are talking right now, and we will have that. We're gonna try to get this microphone in there. to drape this case in motive, animosity um, the photos, um for his family. It, it strikes me that the, the animosity goes the other way around. I mean, we look at Gloria Farber as uh, the functional equivalent of Mommy Warbucks. She's putting the, Forber, the Farber's great wealth um, 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 to work to destroy Fotis Dulos. Why? One case at a time. This case has come in well, and we are looking forward to trying the criminal case when and if it's reached for trial. And at that, I'm going to quit. Thanks, And again, that was Norm Pattis. We were just hearing speaking live on the air outside of the courthouse here with the civil trial that is going on. Um, and as we know, Norm Pattis is the criminal attorney for Fotis Dulos right now. But again, today having to do with the civil trial in this case. And here's a recap of what happened in court today. He was like a second father to me. That's how Fotis Dulos describes his relationship with his now deceased father-in-law, a relationship that also turned financial over the years. He provided capital over the years, and uh, he was always there uh, for me and the business. Fotis taken the stand at a civil trial inside a Hartford courtroom Tuesday. His estranged mother-in-law, Gloria Farber, is suing him for more than $2 million for money she says her family loaned to Fotis for his luxury homes business for Group Inc. According to Fotis, he and Mr. Farber had formal promissory notes for loans early on, but that changed in 2010 after he says the birth of he and Jennifer's fifth child. He expressed his support and he said to me that uh, in, the, in the future, any of these advances are not going to be considered loans. The civil trial looming over the desperate search for Fotis' estranged wife, Jennifer Dulos. Fotis and his girlfriend, Michelle Chaconis, both currently facing tampering with evidence charges in connection with Jennifer's disappearance. Four other witnesses were called onto the stand on Monday, including Fotis Dulos' company accountant. Yes, I did prepare a tax return for 2017. Joseph Orbanski says, unlike previous years, he did not file FOTUS's returns that year because of a request FOTUS made in regards to a $1.7 million loan. FOTUS had requested that we move the loan payable. Urbanski says he refused. The defense also spent the afternoon emphasizing a project on a guest house in New York for the Farber family and how that should be credited to the loan. And back out here live, Fotis Dulos is expected to exit that courthouse at any moment now. We will bring that to you in our later newscast. But coming up at 5, we are also hearing from his sister, who we spoke with earlier today, as well as more details pertaining to that guest house that surrounded a lot of the questions this afternoon. For now, we're live in Hartford. Aisha Bo, Fox 61 News. All right, Aisha, keep us updated. We are following breaking news right now. Another school shooting in Wisconsin. Yeah, this shooting happened at the Oshkosh West High School just after 9 o'clock this morning. A school resource officer was.